All right, now I am going to show you how to make the same bow, but with the aid of toothpicks, so that you don't have to use your fingers. You can also use long nails or anything that will come in handy to help you in creating this bow. So I am going to start with the same thing. I'm going to start with a full twist. Always remember that it's important to start with a full twist um, when making a bow. The first one is a full twist. All the ones that follow will be half twists. So I will place the twist right behind the toothpick and I will actually hold it in place with another toothpick like that. I will then make the first little loop and there will be the front loop and I will do half a twist. Remember, I do the, the twists like that so that the front of the ribbon always shows on the outside of your bow. So now I begin doing the side loops and I'm going to make three sets of loops. Half a twist, put behind the toothpick, another loop, half a twist, place behind the toothpick and hold with another toothpick. So you can really make these bows as big as you want or as small as you want with many loops as you want. I'm going to make this particular bow with the center loop a little bit bigger than the uh, front and back loops, a little bit longer. And once again, I'm going to do the last loop now. Half a twist. Place the toothpick. Half a twist. Now take your wire or your cable tie and actually bring under your whole bow contraption. Pull over. At this point, you can already pull the, the bow out and tighten the ribbon or the cable tie. It's really important to have it very tight. I like cable ties are easier to work with. Ribbons, of course, are fine. Uh, ribbons, I'm sorry. Um, wires are fine, but cable ties are very easy to handle. All right, so now here we have our bow. I'm going to um, show the loops out. We have the center loop which you can put sideways or up and down. And here's our center loop which is a little bit longer than the other loops. There we go. The nice thing about wired ribbon, the ribbon I like to use, is that uh, it fluffs up really nicely and even if you have your bows for Christmas stored, you can always fluff them up the next year. So here's a great bow that you can use on your tree or you can uh, use on your banisters. Um, 
you can use on your wreath or on your teardrop swag to wrap presents. Many, many uses for them. And um, really easy to make. And after you get some practice, really easy to make. Thank you for watching, and this is Dana with Flowers by Design.